and assalamu alaikum guys uh, welcome back again this is abdinur we'll be taking for you kinesthetic form 3 uh today's class will be jalis law jalis law okay uh without wasting time jalis law states that the volume of a given mass is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at a constant pressure the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at a constant uh, pressure. This time pressure will be constant, but in our previous class uh, where we have been dealing with the Boyle's law, remember temperature was constant. So let's divide what Jarrett's law states. Jarrett's law states that, states that the volume of a given mass of a gas, the volume of a given mass of a gas of a gas is directly directly proportional is directly proportional to it is absolute absolute temperature absolute temperature absolute temperature at look at that at at a constant at a constant pressure look at that we are saying the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at a constant pressure. This time, we are keeping the pressure constant. So, I have talked about when a certain quantity is kept constant, how to verify it. You will have the same values in the equation, or it will not be stated in the equation, not to be that. So now, using this definition, let's write the formula of getting, <coughs> the formula of expressing uh, uh, this law. You see here, Jarvis law, it states that the volume of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at a given <coughs> at a given uh, pressure. So we can say volume is directly proportional to its absolute temperature T. So we can say volume is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. That means if we write this one in equation form, it will be volume is equal to constant, constant times what? T. Constant times T, where T is the temperature. Then to make constant the second formula, we will divide here by T. Here also T. Take your time. Cancel these two. So constant, therefore, constant is equal to v all over t let's now call this one v1 and this one t1 volume one and temperature one then volume one can result what v2 and t1 can also result t2 so this is what we are going to use so we are going to say v1 all over t1 is equal to v2 all over t2 so this is what we'll be using for a calculation for our information, guys. Then remember, there is one condition here. When you're talking about Jarvis law, there is one condition. Your temperature, for calculation, your temperature must be always in Kelvin. So you must know how to convert temperature in degrees Celsius into, into temperature over a Kelvin uh, form. So what we're gonna do is we are going to change any we are going to convert any temperature in degrees centigrade into Kelvin by adding two hundred and seventy three. Now the question here is how are you going to know that? What you're talking about or what you're calculating is based on Jarvis law. Remember when pressure is kept constant, you are we are talking about Jarvis law, and this is the formula you're going to use. For your information, guys. Now, without wasting time, after knowing this, 
without wasting time, let us go and see how uh, to calculate uh, questions from uh, this kind of concept of chemistry. Okay, now let's calculate. Let's see examples. Let's see examples. Half in that in print. Let's see examples. Let's see examples for information. Let's see examples. Let's have the whiteboard being plain. Okay, example one, we are told a gas occupies. Look at this one. Let's see this one. As example one, we are told a gas occupies 450 centimeter cubic. 450 centimeter cubic at 27 degrees centigrade. Remember, this is. 27. Full stop. Then we are told what volume? What volume would the gas occupy? Would the gas occupy at 177 degrees centigrade. 177 degrees centigrade. Comma, if pressure remains constant. If pressure remains constant. Look at that. So pressure is kept constant. Can you see? So we look at this and say we are going to say our V1 is equal to what? 450. Volume 1 is what? 450 centimeter cubic. We have T1 as 27 plus 273. So this will give me uh, 300K. I'm expressing temperature in Kelvin form. We will add 273 to the given temperature. Then we have uh, volume 2. No, you ask what volume? So V2 is under question mark. <coughs> then we have uh, T2. T2 will be 177 plus 273. Uh, so this will give me how much? This will give me, uh, when you add them, it will be 300 under. This will be 450, sorry, it will be 450. Okay, we discuss it. But inform the but we know that. Remember, we say that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. We say that uh, V1 all over T1 is equal to V2 all over T2. Look at that. So we are missing what? So what you gotta do is you cross multiply. You know there are some teachers who insert values here. What you do, you are lucky. So cross multiply. Multiply this one by this one and this one. Start with this one. So we'll have V2 multiplied by T1 is equal to V1 multiplied by T2. So we want to get the V2. So we will eliminate T1 here. Divide here T1. Here also T1. Because of, so V2 is equal to V1 times T2. Divided by T1. Then come here. Come here, my friends. We are going to say, we are going to say V2 is equal to, V2 is equal to, V1 is what? 450. Times T2. T2 is also 450. Divided by T1, which is 300. T1 is what? 300. So cancel this 0 and this 0 by 15, 1 by 15. Sorry, by 3, 1 by 3, 15. Remember, we have 2, 0 here. 0 and 0 will go. 0 and 0 will go. By 3, 1 by 3, 4, 12 is 15. So V2 therefore is equal to 15 times 45. This will give me 675 centimeter cubic. 675 centimeter cubic because 10 times 45 is 450 450 plus 
5 times root 5 is 225. So that will give us 675 centimeter uh, cubic for information. Then let's see example 2 again. Are you getting this? Let's understand, brothers and sisters. We have your total gas occupies 450 centimeter cubic at 27 degrees centigrade full stop. What volume would the gas occupy at 177 degrees centigrade if pressure remains constant? So V1 is what? 450. T1 is what? 27 plus 273 with this. You will add, always remember we convert the temperature in degrees centigrade into Kelvin. So you add 273, so it will give us 300. Then what's an equation of this one? V2, what volume do the gas occupy at this temperature? So T2 will be 177 plus 273, it will give us 450. Then remember V1 all over T1 is equal to V2 all over T2. Then our, our target is to get V2. We cross multiply or kiss cross here. Yeah? Criss cross or cross multiply. Yes, answer. So it will be V2 times T1. Look here. V2 times T1 is equal to V1 times T2. Then your, your target is to get V2. Divide, eliminate this one by dividing both sides T1 and T1. Cancel these two. You are left with V2 is equal to V1 times T2 divided by T1. Then you insert the values there. So now let's go and see example. Example 2, guys. Let's go and see example 2. Example 2. Let us go and see example 2. Let us go and see example 2. Let's go and see what? Example 2. Example 2. The matter is to understand whether what your calculation is based on Janus law or Boyce law. Remember, when pressure is kept constant, you are dealing with what? You are dealing with the Janus law, not together. So let me write here example 2. Our example 2, we are told, look at this one. Look at this one here. Yeah. At, at the temperature of, at the temperature of 57 degrees centigrade, comma, nitrogen gas, we are told, nitrogen gas, nitrogen gas, Occupies a volume of 750 centimeter cubic. Occupies a volume of 750 centimeter cubic. Full stop. At what temperature? Look at this one. At what temperature? At what temperature will the gas occupy? Will the gas occupy a hundred, a hundred centimeter cubic? Then they are told express the answer. Express the answer in degrees. They are told express the answer in. Degrees. Then that degree Celsius. Okay. Now, what matters is now the last full stop is very important. So we are told express the answer in degree Celsius. That's matter. What matters is let us get uh, what's required first. Remember here when you come to the solution part, I have T one as. 57 plus 273 so that will give me 330 k 330 k where k is calfing don't forget that please then uh, we have v1 as what 750 centimeter cubic it is there so at what temperature what's under question as well t2 t2 is under under question but we have volume 2 as what? 100 centimeter cubic. Then come here. You're going to say, come here. This is the information you're having. Come here. We know that V1 all over T1 is equal to V2 all over T2. So we are looking for T2, remember? So correspond to it to be V2. Look here. You can even cross multiply like this. V1 times T2 cross multiply. 
V1 times T2 is equal to V2 times what? T1. Then we are looking for what? T2. Then divide here V1. Divide also here V1, which is fully 1. Cancel this thing. So T2 therefore will be V2 times T1 divided by V1. You get this point? So we are going to say T2 therefore is equal to volume 1 is what? Volume 1 is 750 times T1. T1 is what? T1 go back. It is 300. That. Divided by divided by so here V2 sorry sorry V2 is 100. I apologize. V2 is 100. So now and uh, V2 is what? V2, no, V2 is 100 years, of course. So V1 is what? V1 upon 750. 750. So cancel this thing. By 25, 3. Am I right? By 25, 3 years. By 25, 4. By 3, 1. By 3, 11. So T2, therefore, is equal to 44. You have gotten 44. But we are told, look here, express the answer in degrees Celsius. Remember this is correct. So we are going to say that 44 minus 273. So it will give us what? 229. Now the question here is, look here, 229 degrees centigrade. So now we will not indicate the negative. Why? Because uh, we will ignore it for your information. Then this will be the final answer for your information. So this is how you're going to calculate questions that comes from uh, Charlie's law. Boys, it's very easy. But what matters is when we'll be talking about the combined gas law. What do you normally call it? Combined gas law. That is the combination of what? Boy's law and Charlie's law. And that will be our next class. Guys, make sure you subscribe and share this thing with your friends. You also leave your comment in the comment box. As well as you can also make a supplement. Otherwise, I wish you the best.